So I'm going to start by uh, typing in Autodesk and select the UK site. Now you need to sign in or register with Autodesk to download anything. Um, if you don't do it now you'll have to do it later when you actually try and download. And then um, from the products select AutoCAD LT and you will download the trial there. AutoCAD LT, LT stands for light. It's a light version of AutoCAD which I call the full version. There's a big price difference. The full version is nearly £2,000 a year. Difference being, full version supports 3D work and Lisp, which is the built-in programming function inside AutoCAD, which is very useful. Also exposes the API to other programs, so other programs can connect to AutoCAD and control it. It has, the full version has express tools, which are a lot more useful functions and many other things. But for the purposes of doing 2D work, updating site plans, which you, you've been supplied with, and for beginners, AutoCAD LT is absolutely fine. I use AutoCAD LT. I can't, use, I can't afford anything else. I have a very old version of AutoCAD Full 2006, but to be honest, it's not actually any use now. So I've selected the download and I need to enter some blurb here and save the file in my download folders. And then run the file. It asks for administration login, so the screen goes dark. It doesn't record that for some reason. And the download manager is now installing. It take a couple of minutes. AutoCAD is the industry standard in the UK. All the architects, land surveyors, consultants, construction companies, they're all going to use AutoCAD and you're going to be handed files from these disciplines. The architects will be sending you their plans as a DWG and it's going to have loads of XREFs in it and you really want a reliable CAD program to handle that. I'm not saying that others don't, the cheaper ones, but I just can't afford to take the risk. So I pay the money and um, go for it. So it's just starting up the installation program. And don't forget this is a free trial so you can try it out for 30 days and see if it's for you. And I'm going to install it. It can take up to 10-15 minutes to install, it depends on how fast your computer is. And it's important to have a fairly decent computer to do, you know, ongoing CAD work. It may well run on a small tablet, but you won't really be able to handle large files. It'll be so slow. So, a good laptop, a desktop, with at least an i5 processor, at least 8 gigabytes of memory, preferably 16 or more, and a dedicated graphics chip is really what you need. You know, this is going to take a while now, so I'm going to stop the video here and pick it up later. Okay, we're back. I've restarted the computer and double tap the AutoCAD LT 2022 desktop icon and this is what you should be looking at. I'm now going to run through my personal settings because I don't like the default settings. It's too dark for me and I can't bear this start screen which appears every time. So I'm going to quickly run through them and you may or may not wish to use them. But it's nice to know how to do it. So 
I'm going to start by hitting this little plus button which opens a new drawing so I get the command line and I'm going to type in start start mode and this is a system variable inside AutoCAD and one means show the start screen and zero means don't so I'm going to put in zero and it's gone so when I restart AutoCAD at any point it won't be there so only do that if you don't want it the next thing I'm going to change these colors I can't cope with them so I'm going to go into options and you've got various things up here I'm going to display and first of all the color scheme is dark I'm going to make mine light apply that so you can see the difference and click colors here and you got 2d model space which is this drawing area background I'm going to set mine to white I'm one of these old school people that likes to have a white background rather than black otherwise you're drawing white on black I prefer black on white and there we go the other thing I wish to do is to change the selection method it uses a lasso by default I don't like using that I like to use a square selection so I'm gonna unclick that and then click OK and the next thing I wish to remove some of these selectors I don't need them all there are some here that you'll never use so I'm going to click this here I need model space I need these I don't need polar tracking I'm going to get rid of him I don't need isometric drafting keep those I want line weight to show they can stay I don't need workspace switching annotation monitor isolate objects or clean screen and they can all go and the other thing I wish to do is have my properties window permanently fixed onto the right hand side of the screen so you go to view properties grab the window and just move it to the right hand side until it sort of locks up it it enlarges and fills the right hand side but you can't see it on the video because it's not being captured and then you let go and it stays there and you can hide it by clicking that little thing and bring it back by clicking that little thing and the other thing I wish to do is have my object snap settings menu on the left hand side here they are down here and you can select them as you wish but I prefer and they are actually set for me to have intersection and nearest permanently set and everything else cleared so if any any of yours are cleared or ticked you can untick them or just leave them as they are and then if I wish to use any others I select them from the left so to do that I need to show the menu bar go to tools toolbars AutoCAD and then find object snap there you go and you'll get a little menu appear and you move it and again it may not show up on the video but as you push it to the side a little box appears where it's going to go and you let go and then you can either leave this menu up if you like it I don't really use it and it takes up more space from the work screen so I'm just going to hide it and that is basically my setup I'm now going to load a drawing to explain my selection setting so I'm just going to go open and
as a default sort of dialogue box. You, you might get a few of those and you just need to set it so they don't keep showing. But this is an old site plan, it's many years old and it's an old MOD base. It no longer exists, it's been completely knocked down and houses have been built on top of it. Which makes it very handy for me to use for demonstrations. So I'm just going to explain the my um, selection setting. So by default you have this lasso enabled and basically it's, it's you left click the mouse and you can select things. I'm now hitting the escape button which is great but again I'm old school and I don't really like this method I don't like the way anything it crosses is selected that line it just crossed is, has been selected this line I'm about to cross is going to be selected and then I'm going to select the things I actually want and they're selected and then of course I can delete them move them scale them whatever I hit the escape button again if I go back to options and disable that it's now just a conventional box and it doesn't select anything unless it's completely inside the box so if I do this now it hasn't selected this line it's not going to select this line because it can't get completely around it it's only selecting what's completely inside the box and that's um, that's the way I like to use it it means I can overhang things and not not select them like these trees down here unless you completely cover that line there it gets selected so that's your choice it's your choice which one you use so that's it really for this video just wanted to show you how to set things up um, I think another video will follow and we'll go through what everything does and do some basic drawing and things so thank you very much.